Hey, Miguel Gulen here. I, I thought it might be uh, helpful to show you how to quickly import uh, the EduTutors list. I uh, really appreciate uh, Dr. Doug Holton uh, and his work on maintaining the list. And as you can see here, there is a CSV export. And uh, it's pretty amazing. If you scroll down, you can see we've got 415 folks. That's already 15 more than... than uh, uh, Doug shared about earlier today uh, uh, at the end of November. If you go to the EduTutors form down here in the bottom left hand corner uh, of this Google Sheet, you'll get a list and a little bit of information about what everybody does. So as you can see here, uh, Aaron Basu is Associate Professor of Health and Science. Um, and uh, you can tell, you can see how he connects to Mastodon. Uh, and then uh, some of the hashtags that describe the work that he does. And I love the idea of these hashtags because they really give you an idea, uh, some clue as to what hashtags you can follow as well as hashtags that you can add to your um, bio. So what I thought I'd do is quickly walk you through the process. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save this file. It's, you'll notice that it's the CSV export and we're going to just come here to download and go to file download uh, and choose comma separated values or CSV. It'll ask you what do you want to do with this. I'm just going to hit save as and I could rename this to make it a lot shorter. Um, I think I already have a copy here. Um, I could also um, just to be consistent uh, call it the following list uh, which is what it's going to look like on the Mastodon side. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And I'm going to go to the uh, Mastodon instance. And uh, although my permanent presence is on Koto.org, Q-O-T-O.org, I created uh, another account. Um, so this means that you can have multiple accounts in for Mastodon uh, because Mastodon is a variety of, or a collection of uh, different instances and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in and I like to use Bitwarden as my uh, tool to keep track of of all of this now I'm oh I have the wrong address there hang on and I like to, uh, like I said, uh, uh, also do uh, two-factor authentication. Um, I've turned it off for this one, but uh, I do want to encourage you to uh, turn that on. You can always go to your preferences. What you'll notice is that uh, this particular Mastodon instance is running version 4.02, uh, which I think is one of the latest versions. Um, that's different than QOTO.org, so this, this one actually has an edit button, I believe. So I'm going to come over here to my preferences because what I want to do is I've saved the CSV file and now I want to import it into my preferences. So I'm going to come into my preferences and look for the import and export section. When I click on import and export it's going to break out to uh, these two areas. The first thing you'll see is the data export. And I'm just going to quickly mention that the data export area is so that you can make backups of your bookmarks, your domain blocks, your follows, your lists, etc. But what we're interested in is importing because what we want to do is quickly follow everybody that's on this EduTutors list, which is uh, 415 people last time I checked. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on Choose File and I'm going to go look for that following list.csv that I renamed from EduTutors and I'm going to say Open and now I have this following list.csv and of course I see that I have merge or overwrite. I'm going to choose merge uh, because I don't want to wipe out anyone that I maybe have uh, followed already. So I'm going to click, when I click upload it's going to import all of those users into my uh, mass2. Hey, you can see I clicked import. It was very quick. It says your data was successfully uploaded and will be processed in due time. I always think that's so funny. In due time. So I'm going to come back to, back to Mastodon. You can see here's my account. 
and if I come over to my profile it's pretty vanilla uh, this is because I said this is really a training account and as you can see I, I've locked it down uh, but what's different now is that instead of zero following I now have 301 uh, people that I'm following I'm guessing that the full amount won't kick in until it, the entire list is processed but um, I've just sort of thrown a whole bunch of, of content in there and so when I go home I'll now start to see content from everybody that pops up. Isn't that cool? So I can come here and look at Descent Doe, and I see that my using my Kodo account, I was I left some feedback here. Use how to use Semi Ephemeral to sort of clean out your old Twitter messages. Um, so this is my sort of uh, other account that I have. Uh, on qoto.org and of course you can see I've got a more professional uh, picture here um, that I use for uh, training. Now I haven't added my bio to this because again I'm not trying to encourage folks to follow this account I really rather want them to follow the qoto.org account but what's probably going to happen is that people are going to see that I followed them and everybody got messages saying I followed them all 300 or 415 people and so everybody's going to try to follow me on here now they're going to say what happened you moved again as Doug pointed out one day um, so that's a, a, just a, a quick thing um, for fun I am going to uh, try another trick uh, which is basically what happens when you want to clean out your your list and so let's say that I don't want to be following that many people how do I unfollow so many folks you know that's one of the things that drove me crazy and uh, on Twitter was that I it was not easy to f unfollow people so I'm going to go ahead and open up my following list but I'm going to do something um, kind of funny I'm going to clean it out so that I'm only following one user I should have scrolled on this one and not scrolled I mean just did a drag down but okay so now I've cleaned out my following list I only have one user I'm following uh, which is my Koto account I'm going to save that and just to see what happens um, I'm going to come over here to import and this time I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and choose my following list which is really small it only as you can see here it, I've only got one account inside of it and I'm going to say overwrite and what this will do is it will overwrite um, the existing list that means that I it will immediately delete or remove all of those followers so you remember I had like 300 plus followers uh, there now I if I go back and look at my uh, following list you can see I, people are um, it's still processing I think the other list but uh, hopefully what will happen is that this number will drop back down to zero I hope that anybody from mass 2 administration is not getting mad at me for doing this I really appreciate y'all uh, for letting me be here and I hope I'm not causing too much server server issues too many server issues uh, so so what should eventually happen is that this will revert to zero. At least that's my hope. I could be wrong. You never know. Anyways, I hope this video has been helpful to you, and take care.